Welcome back, Zach's Daily Carry Crew. You guys are awesome. Let me see if we can get this all set up. Happy Sunday, Rodney. Hope you're doing good, my friend. We got to get some knives out there, man. Let's get some knives out there. Let's get some blades going. Get some blades. Got the chat going. Live stream going. Happy Sunday. What's up, Grateful Panics in the house? We got an awesome crew today. Look at this. Got DNA Hanks. We got Didier here. Big Red, Rodney, woohoo! David Lindsay, what's happening? Northwoods Knife Guy, member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Rennie's here. What's up, Rennie? Jason Brown's here. Dane is here. What's up, Dane? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, along with Eggs and Ham 22 and Penny Ripple. Thanks for being members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. If you see the green name next to them, you see the ZS after it, changes colors based on how long. They have been a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. You can get in on the excitement too. That's half the fun. Click the little join button next to the subscribe down below. You could be like Blue EDC or Debra, a Therapeutic Edge. What's up, Peter? Big Red's in the house. Monster Racing 38, Nick Martino, Mike Williams. Oh, man, there's a link right there. Thanks, Big Red. Appreciate that. Man, I have to tell you, I was just, I was scrambling this morning. Uh, I've been, I've been working off of, what's up, Jesse B M two three seven, KJ Pearson in the house, William Lenderman. Hope I'm getting everybody. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this quick story. What's up, Barry Levitt, Dane, Todd, Uncle Cal? What's going down? Uh, I'm gonna tell you this quick story. Then we're gonna do a pocket check. So this morning I woke up, got an awesome, awesome email from a local office supply company. Napster Ninja's in the house. What's up, Paul? What's up, Mr. Dans? And on that email, it's like 150, 160 bucks off a office chair that I've been eyeing. And I'm like, oh man. I've been using, now you guys, this has been crazy. So the last two years that I've had this channel, a little over two years, I've been using this folding chair that's just like super uncomfortable. So we're doing these like awesome live streams and stuff and I get up when I'm done and just like super sore. So I've been looking for a real comfy office chair. I'll tell you what, I found it this morning. And my local, my local uh, store, they had like three in stock. And so I ran down there. Of course, none of them are built. But I'm like, let's load this big daddy up. Let's get it in. What's up, Slick? And yeah, so I was using, what's up, Gino V? And uh, yeah, glad you're here. That's awesome. So yeah, so it's one of those things that I'd, try, I'd saved up for a chair. That's one of the things I was saving for. And man, I'll tell you what. That metal chair just got folded up this morning, put away in the corner, and uh, dang, man. What's up, Nice Fast? Welcome. Appreciate you listening. Yeah, be safe there. And it's, it's like night and day difference, you guys, just to have a comfortable chair. Oh, man. Big Red. Holy cow. Big Red. Let's share some love for Big Red. This is AKA Agent Burton, uh, Big Red. <laughs> Dude, I had I was laughing so hard. And I know everybody had fun. It was so it was literally like the best time last night. Just having a blast last night. If you if you were uh, there, you know what's up. Uh Agent Burton's in the house, Big Red. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. Yeah, that goes to help, help su support the spine fund. So yeah, so anyway, so I took some of my money, I bought a chair. <laughs> I know it's like the little things, but me Whoa, man. It's like, I didn't know like Big Shack was like supporting some like chair line at my local uh, office supply store. So what's up, Tim Cook? Yeah. So anyways, craziness. So I just had to tell you that story. But yeah, we got over 50 people here so far. So let's keep rolling with that. But this is what I was carrying today. And I was already using it. So there's tape and gunk all over it. But this is the new Benchmade, and we'll talk about this in a little bit. 
It's a new Benchmade 535-3 S90V carbon fiber. What are you guys carrying on this Sunday? I want to know. I'm going to move my camera just a smidge. Yeah, smash that like button. Let's go through all the pocket carries. Let's knock that out of the way. Big Red, thank you so much, buddy. Literally, it brought just so much joy last night. I was just like in such an awesome mood, man. Hogue Ritter, 945. Uh, oh, B for Baron. Let's show B for Baron some love. PM2 Maximit. Oh, man. Big Red's going going with the links already, man. Thanks, Big Red. Thanks, B for Baron. I appreciate that, man. That support is amazing, you guys. Oh, man. I'm going to, you know, because of your guys' support, I, I got to kick it up a little bit. But I got to figure something out before the end of the live stream. So... Okay, let me go back and see where I left off. We had a P. Well, yeah, we had B for Baron. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, Ryan Pearson's in the house. Custom knife maker, Ryan Pearson. Shout out to Ryan. Uh, Napster Nin Ninja's got the PM2 Maximant. Chocolate Shake got the Bug Out Mini. Northwoods Knife Guy. Sweatpants. He's not rocking anything yet. Right on. Mr. Dan's got the PM3 Maximit, pair of three Maximit. Dude, some good blade steel there. Paul's rocking the small Sabenza. The Lone Ranger. What up, buddy? I got this daddy right here. Speaking of the Lone Ranger. Woo! Look at that. The APB. Oh, Therapeutic Edge. Thanks, Peter. And oh, Peter, I didn't have a chance because I was building, I had to put the chair together. When I got home, so I didn't have a chance to go by and do my run, but I set aside that money for my my tea, and I appreciate that. So I'm gonna use that for it. So, anyways, we'll leave this one out right here because that's pretty bad too. The APB got that all got that all rolling again, but yeah, good to see you, Lawn Ranger. He's carrying the K390 pair of three skinny. I need to do that with one of mine. Uh, Dane's carrying the waypoint. Oh, that's an awesome one. Uh, and the, the QSP penguin Z man's EDC. What's up Z man. Got the OG blue bug out. Andrew Arnold's got the pair three lightweight. Jason Brown's carrying the QSP Gannett orange hat. What's up orange hat. Got the 945 and a bug out K 20 EP ones. Got the wee banter and 20 dude, the wee banter. What up to the wee banner doing pocket checks. Just rolling with the knives on the pocket checks here. Okay. Uh, Rodney. What's up, Rodney? Got the mediator. Oh, my gosh. Got the mediator. Rodney. Oh, my gosh. That's a great one. Uh, 90 Lindauer. Lindauer? Lindauer? Carrying a Benchmade 7... 505-132? I'm not sure which one that is. I got to think of it. Is that the Crooked River? Custom Crooked River? David Lindsay. What's up, David? Uh, David's got a special place on the wall. You'll see that video coming up. It's a, it's a coin that he donated to me. You guys probably saw it in the past. Same with Big Red. Got that amazing birthday gift. Video's finally coming out. But David's carrying the 940 BK 2003. Just got it. Sweet. Penny's got the small Pilar. Nick says, hey, dude, Zach, do you have any off-grids? I just got the Viper and it's good knife hoodie. I do not have any yet. I haven't bought any. I have some on loan. I've checked some out. Neves Knives in the house. What up, Neves? What's going down? Dude, I'm loving your guys' new stream setup. Loving it. You guys are rolling, man. Love that. You guys are going to blow right past me on subscribers, man. People dig the partners, you know, the, the couples. People dig that, you know. And, uh, of course, you guys are, you know, awesome, you know. Bang. Um, I, sorry, I had to do it in the voice, too. I, I, I only do it when you're here. Um, let's see. But, yeah, the Vipers are good. Uh, Todd's got a Gerber clutch. Benjamin Kim's got the Rex Shaman and S90 Native 5. And let's see here. James Martinez got the new ZT0450. Nice. 0450. That's an awesome one. 
little Sinkovich design. Therapeutic Edge has a CRJB Blackout Craig in AR RPM9. Gino V's got the Kaiser Latvand. Griptilian Tinker from KJ. Paul's got the Buck Bantam. Uncle Cal's got the Victorinox Pioneer. Slick's got the brand new Kaiser Dominin. And Black Micarta and a Black Wash N690. Woo! That's a hot one. Eggs and Ham's Lan enjoying his coffee. Be carrying his 565, 2101, and the mini bag letter. Big Red's got the Latvin Mini. Man, that's getting popular there. Oh, had you laughing? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Big Red. That's so funny. CK's in the house. What up, CK? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Oh, cooking it up. Yeah. Oh, Benjamin Kim. Let's show Benjamin Kim some love. Do a little Benjamin Kim shout out here. Thank you so much, Benjamin. Appreciate that. Oh, Z-Mans. What up, man? Thank you. Show a little love to Z-Mans, too. Gotta love the Z-Mans, right? It's like Zachary was on last night with Big Red's uh, stream. It was awesome. It was like, oh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Where did we leave off on this? So many awesome knives. There it is, man. I got the bang on there. I love that. Um, let's see here. People saying shout out. Yeah, what up? Uh, Blue EDC's here. Yeah, Blue. I just messaged you, man. Are you cool with that? I didn't have a chance to check. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open that up if you're cool with that. Uh, he's got the Brass Elementum. Dang, that's nice. Nathan Herrera, what's happening? He's got the 940BK2004. Yeah, Lone Ranger, I'm so, that's so awesome this end up with me. And I almost bought it from him too, like, what was it, like a year ago? Almost bought it. And I'll tell you what, man, this thing is, it's just fantastic. Just a big, all right, cool, thanks, Blue. <laughs> right on. That'll be fun. It's, APB is just awesome. I love carrying it. Uh, let's see here. Hollywood Tacticals in the house. What's up, man? Got the Spyderco Watt and the Boker Little Friend neck knife. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. All right. Did we get them all? I think we got them all. Oh, Scott Bond's got the Mini Freak as well. I think I got that one here. Hold on. Do I have it here? Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's right here. It was hiding. Switch the banter out. Put a little 565-2101 out there. Do a little mini freak. Oh, you got the auto version ABB? Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Definitely. Uh, 90 Lindau, the gold class dual action by Cyber. Oh, my gosh. That's what that one is. Oh, man. I love Shane's work. I'm so holding out for a Centron, too. I'm literally going to have to, I think, go to, like, the uh, the custom knife show in Vegas. The meetup there. I think I might have to go to that one just to try to get a Centron. But I don't know, man. The Centron's hard to find. I found one, but it was, like, a super tricked out one, and it was, like, five grand. And I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't do that. You know, I have some money. I literally have money set aside for a Centron when I find it, but I only have like enough to get a real basic version. <laughs> I'm going to keep adding to it. I'm going to keep adding to it. I got to sell a couple more knives, but I keep, you know, I, I have money set aside for that. And then it's like somebody releases a new knife, you know, like this shot show exclusive. And I'm like, okay, I got to get one of those. And I don't know if you guys bought all the ones on GovX, but they were the last ones I saw that had them. We talked about that the other night. And I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who has gone through or is going through like struggles right now. No matter what it is in your life, I just want to give you a shout out, let you know the community's here. I'm here. If you want to talk, easiest way is send me a, a direct message on Instagram, which is Zach's underscore stuff. Um, I just got caught up this last weekend, uh, like Friday, cause I just got my power back the other day. So 
Anyways, there's a lot of people going through stuff. Shout out to Big Red, man. Much love to you. Everyone else as well. Uh, okay, let's see here. Did I miss any other carries that people have? We've got all those. Oh, CK says I can put his grip out too. <laughs> yeah, do something kind for someone, man. You know, I put that up there. Um, it was National Random Act of Kindness Day the other day. And it was just like the perfect opportunity, you know, to like just remind everybody like, hey, here's what's up. So this is CK's knife. I'm going to try to get this over to him today if I can. But he's got a mini grip, custom, partially serrated, just a beauty. So we'll put that one up here right now. Pretty awesome. Uh, thanks again, Z-Mans, for the donation. I appreciate that. Uh, Jonathan Nathaniel is carrying the artisan tradition. I'm trying to see, make sure I didn't miss anybody, man. Paper Tiger's here. What's up, Paper Tiger? Oh, yeah, <laughs> seven minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're caught up on the live. That gets important near the end. Chef V, what's up, Chef V? What's going down? Oh, I should receive it next week. Okay, Dan, that's cool. Right on. I know this is like Ethan, Ethan's favorite knife right here, the bug out. He loves it. Shane's here. What's up, Shane? Hallucinus got the Vero Axon today. Ooh, the Ariki Ember. Nice, nice. Where's the carbon fiber mini freak? Uh, let me see. Is it here? I do not have that one. It is in another room. I apologize. James Ortiz, what's up? The S90V Mini Freak. Yeah, I should have brought that one out. I I grabbed some Hogs instead. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a it's a good one, you guys. It's so good. It's been crazy weather for sure. All right. Tim Shanks is here. Now we can get started. <laughs> right on. A machete is a boot knife. Whoa, whoa, that's crazy. So anyways, you guys have seen this one, but this is the carbon fiber. I'm just kidding. This is the Jade Natural G10 Mini Freak. Uh, came out in the S90V. Uh, GovX was the last place I saw that had some stock. There'll be other dealers posting their stock online soon. Um, I mean, Blade HQ hasn't done it. Knife Center hasn't done it. Knife Works. Nobody's done it yet on those, so... You know, if you're close by to one of them, definitely check in. Maybe get your name on the list if you want one. Um, but yeah, that's the one he sees. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, so uh, in reality though, what's up, Emma? Welcome, welcome. We are looking at the Benchmade Bug Out 535-3. It just came out so I can finally show you. They delayed the launch officially two days. Um, what's up knives in our lives? What's going on? Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, we're doing a little update on a newly released knife here from Benchmade. This one is the 535-3. Has that beautiful, beautiful S90V blade. Gorgeous carbon fiber. Of course, the deep carry pocket clip. And of course, oh man, I'm ready for the mini Adamas. Trust me. I already have my review filmed, so I know there's I know there's uh there's some stuff out there, but my review's a pretty good one, so I'm excited for it. I'm gonna try to see if I can get approval to post it this week, because it's coming out like the beginning of March, so that's pretty close, right? Like ten days or something, or eight days or something. Uh, I saw that Ty Addiction posted that up there, but I haven't watched it yet. But yeah, this geared backspacer is where it's at. I mean, it, it captures the color, it has that little pop, and it's like, you know, totally what we love to see on the on the bug outs. So, yeah, so, and talking about Ty Addiction, real quick, he does have a fundraiser, you know, just like Monster Racing 38, congratulations, man, and a huge shout out to this community for supporting it. Uh, yes, Mr. Dan's, the backspacer on this is aluminum. And that's why your coloration's different. You have a steel thumb stud in blue. I mean, they could have done a little bit better match, but 
it's an aluminum backspacer. It keeps the weight really light. I think we're still, I think we measured it the other day. The weight on it, it was still like two ounces, you know, and I think the original bug out was like 1.85 or something. So this one I think is right at two. Yeah, 2.006 unofficial. So, and I think uh, the original, I got an original right here. Shout out to the original blue bug out. Yeah, 1.86, so not much difference at all. Keeps it right in that neighborhood. That's the OG bug out, the original. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome indeed. But yeah, I'm ready for the Mini Adamas as well. I, I'm excited. Yeah, what's up, Keith? Yeah, the Mini Freak is awesome too. But that Mini, I'll tell you what, like seriously, it was really hard for me not to just like break it out and show you guys because, oh man, it's fantastic, seriously. But yeah, Ty Addiction has a GoFundMe right there. Thanks, Big Red. Uh, he posts a link up there. If you get a, if you get a second, if you got you know an extra coffee money for the day or something, you have a minute this week to to throw something his way. That'd be pretty awesome. So, you know, he's a good member of the community, and uh, we want we want to try to support each other. So, yeah, they have, haven't they? Let's let's do a little comparison on this. Yeah, the crew wears. I'm excited for that. This has my Thor on it because that's the one, the Thor hammer, but that's the one. You can see the difference, man. You know, I have so many different bug outs, but, you know, this is the original. They launched right here, the 535. It's got the same look. So you have that, you have that, you know, lanyard hole design that they love to keep, which is great because this is used outdoors for so much stuff. And then they've just, you know, upped it with blade steel, carbon fiber. It's good. Ethan wants to talk about something besides bug outs. He's gonna. He's he's been into modding lately, so I'm excited to to keep watching what you're doing on the modding because your modding stuff's pretty rad. So, but there's the the bug out mini free comparison. A little bit longer on the bug out handle, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, Rodney definitely. Chris is a good guy. Ty addiction. Lucas Bacon. Bug outs have come a long way. Yep. Rennie's taking a break. Got to go to the bathroom. Yeah, so there's a link right there. Thanks, Big Red. I appreciate that. Hey, you're welcome, Monster Racing. That's good stuff. Does mine say first production? Sadly, no. I didn't. This is a story that I told the other night. It's like, it blows my mind. I don't know what's up, but they don't. I mean, it's, it's an incentive for the dealers. I get it. But the first productions go out to the dealers first. And if there's any left, then they put them in the, the Benchmade factory store. And that's where I purchase a lot of my knives from. Um, I order them from them, get them right from them. But on the popular ones like this, they don't get any first productions in the store. So it'd be pretty cool if, you know, if we could do that. But yeah, we definitely need to do that, Jason. And I'm, I'm supporting that. So if you guys want to talk to me about it, we could start a little like, Z-Mans, formerly Zachary Mobus. Okay, Z-Mans. All right, right on. I like that. Little Z-Mans EDC. Very cool, Zachary. Got the name change switched over. I like that. Uh-oh, did Big Red do something? <laughs> but yeah, we should definitely do a, a like a, a blue-colored one with like Air Force colors. <laughs> Isn't he going into the Navy, right? <laughs> We could do a Navy one, though. We could do a Navy one. Oh, there you go. David says the Jade Mini Freak is still available on GovX. Well, there you go. That's right on. That's good. I like that. Um, let's see. Knives in Our Lives. Just ordered one of those. Got the Lucas Bacon's got the bacon. A Navy bug out. We might be able to get you on that one. What's up, Scott Vaughn? Yeah, space, get a Space Force bug out. Yeah. One minute knife reviews in the house. <laughs> Shane says, did somebody say Boutro? <laughs> oh, my goodness. We had so much fun with that. And still, I'm still like, it seriously brings me joy when I when I hear that. Just from last night to this morning. 
was telling telling family about it. It was it was so funny. Less Zach confusion. <laughs> oh, that's all good, Zachary. We'll call you Z Man. Z Man's a good name, man. It's a really good nickname. Had to be there to get it. <laughs> but Ron. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Rodney. There's so there's so many things we can do with that. You know it's gonna live on too. Oh, there's the link right there to the GovX one. Big Red is throwing it down. So you're you're not you, you can't say you missed out. Gotta order that up. Yeah, that's good. Oh, family nickname. All your life. There you go. That's perfect then. Z Man's EDC. It fits. A sheep's foot bug out. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't seen too many variations on the blade at all. I mean, I know they have the bailout going, so that's probably why they kept it. But, you know, you guys saw what I did, and there's been several others that have done it too on the bailout where they do the regrind. And I think Northwest Knives was doing that for a while too. What's up, Benny Adam? Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. And so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, but let's get the, uh, let's break out the old, um, channel unboxing knife i'm not used to having extra time this has been really weird um you know yesterday was my first day off and i was supposed to have all weekend last weekend off but it was uh occupied my my full-time job this is the only thing i have now which is pretty cool um gives me more time for the channel and get stuff out to you guys um, you know, I retired from that, uh, my second job after 15 years and that was pretty crazy. And then all of a sudden we had all this ice and power outages and trees falling everywhere and everything else. And so our division at work, we got like transitioned. What's up, Chad? Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, the bailout is pretty awesome, but you can definitely go and do a, oh, look at that, man. He's doing the bench made tango tool unboxing thanks thanks dude but yeah i got a first production on that one this is a, just a little guy but it's super sharp 20 cb jaredoser design oh you lost audio well hopefully everybody else didn't lose audio well thanks rennie i appreciate that man you you've done some awesome stuff i appreciate your giveaways as well and uh, I hope everybody didn't lose audio. I, I literally made sure everything was dialed in before I click live today. So. Audio is fine. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's, that's so cool. That's so cool. Jade scales are pretty awesome. Lisa, what's happening? <laughs> welcome to the, welcome to the chat. Randy F is here. Oh my gosh, Jason, you're getting it started, man. Let's let's some love for Jason. He wants to make that that navy bug out happen. Let's do that. I'm all in on that. Let's do that. I'm all about that. Thank you so much, Jason. Yeah, we'll definitely get that going then. Oh, thanks. One minute knife reviews. Show a little love for Jason and for one minute knife reviews. My iPad that I'm typing on is a little shaky, so it doesn't get them all even when I put the put the love out there. But no, it's there. All right, so Chris, or I'm sorry, Blue EDC's in the house. Sent me something. It showed up. So we're going to do a little unboxing here of that. Let's put that one up here. We got to keep that on the screen. But he sent me something. Send it your way. Send it right away. Oops. I'm trying not to get my fingers underneath there. Oh, thanks, Shane. Let's shut. Oh, my gosh. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yes, definitely. This is going to make that happen. We're going to put together. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Shane Gables, Big Red ADC, Knives in Our Lives. Let's show a little love to those guys. We will definitely make the Navy bug out happen. I will order that. We will, anybody that's donated for that so far, uh, anybody that's donated today, we got to get on a little chat. So we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll, do, we'll order a little custom one. 
Look at that. Nice packaging. All padded up. Thank you so much for sending this out. This is a really cool little deal that he sent out. He wanted me to check this one out. He, he basically was like, hey, I don't want you to get a bad impression of a certain knife manufacturer. Email you. Okay, okay, yeah. We'll have to email then. So he's like, I'm going to send this out. I want you to check it out. Let me know your thoughts on it. Look at that. Got some paper towels. Blow my nose. Now, you guys recognize that already? I actually saw this feature just the other day. Oh, thanks, Rodney. Let's give a little shout out to Rodney. Thank you so much, Rodney. We'll put that towards the, the Navy bug out. <laughs> it's an open L. I saw this on Blade HQs the other day. They were talking about the access lock ones. Now, does this one open? Okay, so you just got to flip it open. Oh, Rennie. Thanks, buddy. Let's give a little shout out love to Rennie. Thank you so much. You guys are great, man. The support is awesome. I like the color. They even went, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Super Freak. Kind of that that dark, rich, kind of wine-colored maroon. I like the handle on that, too, because it gets slim. It feels good. It feels really good in the hand. Oh, Ethan. <laughs> Thanks for the donation to the Navy Bug Out. Had to at least put some in. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Ethan. Oh, man, you don't have to put in on that. But, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, we will get something special for you. As a community, we will all pitch in and get something. But, yeah, Blue EDC sent this to me. So I'm going to have to check this one out. I like the G10. That, it, man, even the access lock. Woo, that, like... Shuts really, really nice. Hey, hey Decor's here. What's up, Decor? Got kind of that uh, standard pocket clip. Man, I like that. It's a big one. Yeah, it's definitely. Let's let's throw it up next to the uh, bug out here. You can see the size difference there. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. What's going on, Keith? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that is a big boy for sure. Oh, Eggs and Ham. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. A little shout out to Eggs and Ham. A little love. Thank you so much. What kind of steel on this? Let's see if they marked it. I don't think they marked it. I do, I like the black kind of stone wash to it. Let me see if I can spidey flick it. Ooh, almost. It's 7CR, okay. There we go. 7CR, okay. I mean, oh my gosh, it's even got a little spot for lanyard fans. But I like the Laird G10. This is gonna, this is gonna be a nice one. I, I appreciate you sending this out to me. So I can check this one out. Oh, they don't mark the steel usually. Okay. It could use a thumb stud. I'm just saying. Because it's it's kind of deep to get in there. Oh, Blue. <laughs> Thanks, Blue. Show a little love to Blue EDC. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, you Chris is here. What's up, Chris Caddy? Picked up the carbon fiber bug out Thursday. Feels premium in the hand. Great new EDC. Yeah, it is a pricey one. Um, you know, it falls in line with their S90V and their carbon fiber they've used on others. But I like, man, the action on closing this. And gr granted, it's, uh, yeah, hallucinousness. I was trying. It's hard behind the camera. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it over here a little bit. What's up, Michael Morgan? Ah, I'm going to have to practice with this one. You can do it. There we go. It's a little bit of one. <laughs> I'm going to, such a big blade, I'm probably going to get myself. 
and I'm sure it came sharp. Yeah, it's uh, I could use a little stropping maybe near the tip, but we'll we'll throw it on a little work work sharp. What does Jason say? <laughs> that comment kicked you off. Oh, really? Okay, that's weird. Go a little higher on it? Okay, let me try that. Go a little higher up. See, what happens is I catch... Oh, got my finger. I catch, uh, I catch this action here. It hits the... The axis bar hits against my other fingers. All right, I'm going to not practice on camera because we're going to have to break out. I only have a couple Benchmade Band-Aids left. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, though. I like that one. Okay. Well, that's pretty awesome. Thanks, Blue EDC. Yeah, it pulls back like crazy. Like, when you close this, I mean, it closes like, it's almost like it's an assisted closing. Yeah, a thumb stud screw on would be good. Safety first, yes, definitely. But yeah, it closes like, I mean, seriously. It's, wow. It works well. I could like spidey flick it off to the side. Like I'm opening my hand, you know, spidey flick. I could probably do it that way. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know uh, price-wise on those, but it seems like it's pretty good. What's up, Donkey Dave? Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. Appreciate you jumping on. That's great to see you on here. We had some fun last night. Rocking and rolling. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, you know? And I think if they went big through the handle, it wouldn't be uh, one of those that people would be like, uh, it's only $45? Man, that's a good price then. What's up, NLKG? Welcome, welcome. Oh, okay. You're referring to his. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I thought you were talking about this one. I'm like, oh man, that's a bummer that that comment kicked you off. Oh yeah. Smash the like button. That always helps you guys. Yeah. We just passed up 8,000 subscribers. Oh, 36 actually, man. I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get another one too. Do they make other colors? You know that. All right, so Rennie says, how would you rate Oregon Knife Laws? You know, uh, the Oregon Knife Laws are pretty good. They're pretty good. They're probably like in that 70 to 80% approval rating, I would say. What's up, Tom? Welcome, welcome. But I would love that the everyday Joe Blow could carry an automatic knife. Um, you can carry one, but it has to be totally visible. So there's that weird rule where like, you know, if you have, you know, if you have an automatic knife, um, oh, what's up, Benny? Oh, you grew up in Salem? Nice. State capital. But let's say you have a knife like this. You're left to the interpretation of an officer to say, is this the knife visible? Most would say yes. Some would say no. Um, that's the hard part. So you have a deep carry clip on an automatic um, you know, right now it's limited to like law enforcement and active duty military can carry autos, but that's one of those where it's like, yeah, it can't be concealed. So yeah, exactly. Chad, it's very gray. So it's left up to interpretation of the officer, which is kind of a bummer because, you know, especially in Oregon, you're going to be wearing something that, you know, you know, most of the year you're going to be wearing like a rain jacket or some sort of a sweatshirt or something, which may cover that clip and if it's not if it's not 100 visible you know if somebody stops you and shakes you down that's what's up oh well, welcome back keith i'm glad you made it back what's up wallaby russ is here what's up russ so that's why i, I would say like they could definitely do some better knife laws where they're a little more flexible on those especially especially with so many of the knife manufacturers here you know, and I get it why some of the like, you know, Microtex and things like that, ProTech, which is funny because ProTech's in California, but it's like, man, if they just loosen them a little bit, 
That would be awesome. So there's the Gerber Sumo link. Thank you so much, Big Red. And I know, like, literally, you know, Doug Ritter and KnifeRights.org, you know, I'm a member. I, I, I support that every step of the way, um, you know, and I encourage anyone in the knife community, if you can become a member and help support, they continue just, like, constantly. And I know they have something in Washington they're working on right now, the state of Washington, um, to try to help with that as well. So, yeah, no kidding, Donkey Dave. <laughs> yeah, the ones in the UK are wild. Uh, South Carolina knife laws are awesome. The only law we have is nothing over three inches on school grounds. Oh, that's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. Yeah, so there's the Oregon knife laws right there. But what's up, Deadpool Lee? It, it definitely leaves a lot to interpretation. And, you know, I, I think, you know, the only time they're going to jam somebody up is if they're looking to try to jam somebody up on it. Um, so that's one of those things, you know. It's like, hopefully, hopefully things get better. Um, but they still have to continue to, to, to battle those, you know? So, oh, Dakura, you're out of here, buddy. Well, I appreciate you jumping in. I know you're, you're in a totally different time zone. So I appreciate you being here, man. It was awesome. Oh, the Washington knife laws are vague. Yeah, that's a bummer. Well, you know, that's why I, I know like kniferights.org is working to clarify that stuff big time. Oh, really? So in Florida, if you have your concealed carry, you can carry knives as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Oregon's weird because, like, I can I can strap on a machete and carry it around open, and it's fine, you know? Oh, really? You have to have a card in Illinois? Wow. Yeah, exactly. If we could carry those autos, you'd see a lot more of that stuff, you know, Especially from Benchmade and other stuff. You'd see that stuff coming up. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, you can carry a sword. As long as it's open, you're fine. Uh, what else do we have here? I have a couple things that got sent in. <clears throat> now, I think this one, it's taped up a little bit here. We have some things here. So let's go ahead and put this awesomeness away thank you so much blue edc put that off to the side there we're gonna open this one up oh really big red you had a visit from the neighbors or uh, the neighbors called you in for carrying a fixed blade <laughs> on your property that's so wild man yeah see at least my neighbors are pretty cool with that stuff around here I think the only things that the neighbors would be concerned with here is if you're carrying like, you know, something, something that's a projectile that's very offensive. And even at that point, they'd probably just talk to me about it. So this one came back to me from the pass around group and I love this one. So I want to share it with you again. And since we're talking about autos this is a perfect opportunity for it. Uh, Lone Ranger says, I just gifted a CLA to a federal agent in Cali due to them being illegal for me to own here in New Mexico. That's so wild, you guys. That is so wild. Well, that was very nice of you, Lone Ranger. Red Astrakhan's here. So, yeah, so thinking, thinking on the topic of or talking on the topic of an auto, uh, Therapeutic Edge says, can't carry a rocket launcher here, but it upsets his neighbors. Oh, I can't. <laughs> yeah. But this is the autocrat. G10, blue accents, deep carry clip. Uh, this is one of my favorites, you guys, out of the, the new autos. It's pretty sweet. S30V, you know, the texturing on the autos is nice. It's kind of, it kind of goes with, you know, they're, you're used to seeing the infidels and the, the trigger switch here. It's kind of cool that it's on the, the top edge because that's where you're going to operate the knife and hold it from. So 
Yeah, Big Red's in Washington as well. So, yeah, they're they're a little pricey. I mean, it's the 3400 Autocrat from Benchmade, um, but it's an auto opening knife. You know, they make it in. They made it in a couple different colors, but I think those got discontinued, and so now the black is just the only one. But you'll see. You see a. I think they had a tan and a green one out there too. So, what would I use this for, Donkey? There you go. Oh, that's cool, Grateful Panic. You can do that. Yeah, I would not be able to do that <laughs> in my neighborhood. Oh, thanks, Big Red. Big Red, put the link to this in there if you want to see it. Definitely check your local dealers because, you know, they're running specials on these all the time. <laughs> it's a cutting tool, definitely. It is double-edged, though, and it's an auto, so it's one of those knives that, like, I can carry really well or carry like very openly. <laughs> What's up, Mike Williams? How's it going? All right, Benny. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. KJ. Yeah, right next to you. Exactly. But yeah, the blue, the blue hardware, the blue accents. This one's been around quite a few people in the past around. Um, Scott, Big Boar Williams, he just had this one. Uh, the review posted up on his channel. He just sent this back to me. Put it in the pass around group. So I think everybody had fun with it that could. But yeah, so it's good. It's good, it's good. It's a fun one. Let's see here. Oh, you're 10 miles from the border. Dang. One minute, seven from the southern border. That's like opposite ends there in Nashville. And I'm in the Portland, Oregon area, if you guys don't know. But what's up, Knife Sergeant? What's going down? Yeah, exactly. They're on the far ends of it. Knife Sergeant's in the house. Colorado. Man, they just you guys just had a wild deal. Those people flying to Honolulu, man. Luckily, they uh, had some amazing pilots and made it back safe. That was a crazy ordeal yesterday. Oh, it's legal in Oklahoma. That's cool. That's cool. That's good. That's good. Now, I did have something cool sent that is really big box. So I'm probably not going to be able to show the whole box on camera. Yeah, it's not going to fit even on the table. But we will use the Tango tool. And this is from our good friends at Southern Edge Knife Works. So I'm just going to put that out there real quick. Southern Edge Knife Works sent a little something special over. I'm excited to open this up and see what it looks like here. Kind of know what's in here, I think. But you can get 15% off flat rate shipping of $5 in the U.S. if you use the code ZACH15, Z-A-C-H-1-5. Oh, man, they even sent some more stickers. So we'll put, it, we'll put, some, of the, put some of that swag into the giveaway here. Nice, very nice. Thank you. Get them all out of the box. There we go. Perfect. Ooh. It's a, it's a big box, you guys. Okay. What's in the what's in the box? Oh, thanks, Big Red. Oh snap. You guys seeing this? This is a tumbler. Ooh, I saw they have the wood grain one on the website, too. Yeah, the Presidio 2 is an awesome knife. 915 knife, what's happening? Oh, my goodness, look at that blue. Woo! That is gorgeous. That blue is gorgeous. Is there anything... <gasps> What is that? 
Oh, snap. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. You guys see that? Look at that. DSKFS. That is sweet. Oh, my gosh. You guys nailed it. That is so sweet. Man, thank you guys so much. Yeah, it's huge. I don't even know. Let me see what the box says. 32 ounce slim tumbler. So it's going to hopefully fit in some of those things in the truck or in the car. Has a very cool opening here. Let's see if I can get the cap off. It unscrews. So you have your lid right here. That's beautiful. A nice little gasket to keep the liquid in. Hello. 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 A little echoey. Man, you guys, that is so perfect. Thank you guys so much, Southern Edge Knife Works. That is amazing. The DSKFS and the Zach Stuff logo. Sweet. We're going to put that right up there. Thank you guys. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know what I'm putting in there later today. I'm going to get uh, Big Red's recipe for uh, cherry limeade. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, yeah, so check them out. Um, they have, I think, the small tumbler and the large one with the wood grain on there right now on their website. Yeah, we're twinsies, buddy. Heck, yeah. We need to have a little get-together now. We can uh, mix up some limeade. <laughs> that's great thank you guys so much that is fantastic southern edge knife works you guys rock man tumblr twinsies yeah we definitely need to make a trip out there to southern edge knife works big red and i are working on our uh on our game plan for like a trip later this year we gotta pick a couple locations and get over to the east coast or down south somewhere and kind of get on that I know the Lawn Ranger. Oh my gosh. If you don't follow Lawn Ranger on Instagram, you're missing out on some sweet, sweet stuff. Yeah, it's the special cherry limeade recipe that got to gotta get a little share of that recipe. But Lawn Ranger, man, making me so, so hungry watching his Instagram. He's just like killing it with the barbecue, the Traeger. All the stuff. I'm just like, man, I wish I could hop a quick flight, you know. <laughs> when I see the stuff get put in the trailer, I'm like, I just need to go hit the airport. <laughs> That's great. Oh, they have some good fishing, too. What's up, Scott? Scott Raider's here. What's going on? Or is it Ratter? I like Ratter. Ratter sounds cool. Oh, you can go to Blade HQ. Nice. That's a pretty good drive. Yeah, that's not too bad. It'd be fun. I, I think one of the things I want to do is I definitely want to hit up like, I think, I think, I think when we get to, oh yeah, there's a link right there for Southern Edge Networks Tumblr. Check them out. Definitely get one dialed in for you. They're pretty sweet looking. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, Knife of Palooza for sure. What's up, Baba Nazir? What's going on? But yeah, I think one of the things I want to do is definitely like for Blade Show West being in Long Beach, California this year. Yeah, Z-Mans, if you come down, let me know. Let me know ahead of time. We'll try to set something up. Yeah, JB's on it with the links, bro. Appreciate that. But I want to hit up like, I think while we're down there, I have some extra time. So I talked to Dave at SHOT Show last year. And it's, yeah, it's just on Friday, Saturday. Yeah, totally. But I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay a little extra. So I want to have some fun down there. I do miss knife events for sure. But uh, it was a bummer. But, oh, you live in Las Vegas. Nice. I think, you know, uh, PVK Vegas, man, I love checking their place out. They do some awesome custom work. A little hookup in the back room, you know what I'm saying? But I want to visit like ProTech. I want to check them out. I want to visit Blade HQ. I want to visit EDC Specialties. They're kind of in like Northern California. 
um, you know, and then kind of make a trip across, you know, I would love to check out like Southern Edge Knife Works, Smoky Mountain, you know, all the places that you guys get to check out that live over there, you know, we're, we're kind of blessed. We have all these, like these knife manufacturers here, but there's only like one that really has, and it's on, on hold right now with, with Benchmade, but they're the only one that you can go in and like see their knives and see what's happening. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, for sure. Z man. Yeah. It's in October 8th and 9th, Friday, Saturday. Okay. Hollywood. Nice. Yeah. And when I go down there, I'm going to make a trip in. I'm not sure what big red feels about this, but oh, central Illinois. There you go. SEKW is awesome, but until you experience Smoky Mountain Knife Works, you haven't really been doing a knife store. <laughs> hey, you know what? Small to large, I want to take it all in, you know? I mean, that's one of the fun things is to be able to check out a knife place. Like, you know, I, the last couple times I've been to um, Southern California, I've made a special trip um, at least half a day to just go up and hit Ross Cutlery. You know, the history there, the people there are amazing. And just to be able to like truly see what's going on there is pretty fun. You know, they have some really knowledgeable people. The owners are great. Um, so those things are kind of cool to check the, check out. You know what I mean? So, and I know Big Red's into the fishing. So, yeah, definitely look up the details on Blade Show West. I'm excited for it. I think it'll be good. I think with everything going on, things are getting better. Um, I can understand why they didn't want to do Portland this year. And hey, it's going to be sunny. Hopefully. <laughs> you know, two days, two days in, in Southern California, at Long Beach. I don't think we can go wrong with that. But we'll spend a little extra time down there. We'll hit a couple places. I'd love to be able to go up to Ross Cutlery with Big Red. We'll see if uh, we get some time to do that. That'd be kind of cool, you know, maybe even do a little like meetup, you know, be cool to do a meetup on a couple places and just be like, Hey, we're going to go here today. We're going to grab some lunch over here. What's up, script crip Cabela's. Yeah. And Cabela's is good too. You know, uh, big red and I, you know, we went to one of the biggest ones on the West coast here, big reds in, there we go. So Ross color, it is, he's in, you know, maybe we can bring, uh, you know, women carry knives and a therapeutic edge, some good stuff, you know, and they're, and they're really good friends with pro tech. So they have some cool knives there as well. So I'll have to get a hold of them ahead of time. Let them know we're coming. So we can kind of, maybe we can get a little sharpening lesson while we're there. Oh, really? Yeah. I was looking at their uh, pro tech they had, um, but it was only for, or they only did it for like walk-in customers. And I think it already sold, but I'll have to double check again. I appreciate that Hollywood. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I don't know, you know, if there's any other stores down there, but I'm sure there'll be some people that'll, they'll make some suggestions, but you know, I found Ross Cullery just through Instagram before a couple years ago. And when I went down there, I was like, you know, I, I literally, it was like, you know, you're on a vacation you're like, you know, the knife, the knife guy and you comes out and you're like, Hey, we need to check this out. <laughs> so it was, it was like an hour or so drive or whatever, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We'll have to go, we'll have to go see where, uh, the bat cave is down there too. See if we can find the bat cave while we're down in Southern California. Just saying, you guys know what the bat cave is. Get a little water. I had my tea earlier, but it was in a Benchmade mug, so I finished that up already. Oh, parking? Oh, man, really? Well, we'll have to, I'll have to, like, find some parking stuff. I'll definitely have a rental car, but... Oh, Ethan, you're going to be gone for it. Yeah, that's the thing, like, and I don't know... Oh, it's just over the hill from you. Nice, that's cool. I don't know what the thoughts are, but it seems like... Um, it's, see, I don't know what blade show is going to do. I think they're waiting to see, you know, I know the, the one thing they're having that one, is it the all-star stuff that's going to be in Atlanta?
but they're not going to have fans or something like that. I don't know. So I'm looking to see really if they, uh, they told me to go look at the knives on shelves and Cabela's when I asked to see a PMT. Oh my gosh. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. Russ blade show West is October. It's either seventh and eighth or eighth and ninth. I think it's a uh, Friday, Saturday, uh, in October. So yeah, and I don't know, I don't know how Blade Show is gonna go if they're gonna do one this year in Atlanta or not, because that's in June, and that's only like three, four months away. Oh, thanks, Therapeutic Edge. There you go. Blade Show West is October eighth and ninth. It's a Friday, Saturday, so it'll probably be that second weekend in October. Peter's got it. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll have to show off some swag and I'll, maybe I'll. Oh, you know what I should do. Oh, I got a good idea. I should I should do something special. I should do a little like I should bring like 50 swag packs. Like special giveaway swag packs. Oh yeah, Peter Therapeutic Edge is going too. Yeah, right on. We'll be there. That's cool. But yeah, and then I hope and I don't that's my thought. Like I don't know if I'll be able to swing Atlanta in June. But USN would be fun. I really want to try to go to USN. That would be fun. That's the one in Vegas, right? Yeah, I don't know. What's up, Form D Productions? What's going down? Oh, nice. Okay. You're in Bama? Okay. Nice, Shane. Uh, so, Rennie says, Zach, would you rather prefer that Benchmade would carbon fiber the area around the blue lanyard hole? I really love this knife, but I would prefer the carbon fiber one all the way. Yeah, you know, that's a really... <laughs> we should go in costume. <laughs> that would be funny if we did that, huh? Go in costume like that. Um, you know, that's a good question. Um, one of the things is... I love the color pop. And... You know, I it doesn't take away... It's like a visual thing. It doesn't take away from the functionality at all. You know, because it's there. Um, it kind of has that cut back end, you know, <laughs> we should all wear Batman masks. Who's the, who's the real Nick? Who's the real Nick? Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Evil, you know, evil. Evil. We'll just have to roll with it. You know, I think a lot of people are getting vaccination stuff going and more stuff will be out, but the June one will be interesting. That'll be hard to tell on the June one. So we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Chad. Yeah. The one in Vegas. Yeah. I would love to go to that one. Um, I would have to, I'm like solely focused. I'm about to talk to Shane. He lives like 10 minutes from me. So it'd be kind of weird if I showed up at his house, but maybe I'll go meet him for coffee or tea or something, but it'd be kind of cool to be able to get one of those things and be like, Hey, are you going to bring these Centrons, some regular Centrons? to USN, the gathering, I would love to do that. So, but his stuff's like, I mean, as soon as it's there, it's gone. So, and he does a lot of those. I think at USN, he does by a uh, bid. So it probably sell for more than it would, would normally. Cause I think a lot of his stuff, he does a lot of stuff through Arizona custom knives. He gets a lot of that on there as well right now. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Nick Alfred. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so we have another box here I want to open. Um, it's from our friends at... And this is something that... This is something that he had a really good deal on a knife. Redeem Creations. Really, really cool quality leather products that he makes. Um, he gave me a really awesome deal on a knife that I was trying to get one of the limited edition ones, but they just, when they pop out, they're gone. What's up, G-Man W? Uh, Chicago 23, welcome. Says, I'm taking the vaccine. I have had these headaches sometimes. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's no fun. But we'll use our Tango tool here. We'll try to get this opened up safely. 
I like the, you got always got to tape that tab on those small priority boxes, just FYI. I received a knife recently. I won't out anybody, but nobody in this chat that uh, it wasn't taped. What's up, David? David Yoho's here. What's up? Let me open this behind the camera here. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool that he, he offered this. This is out of his collection. I think he was trying to clear up a few knives, and I had put some money aside for this one. I sold a knife and uh, put this one up, and I was trying to get one of the limiteds, but the limited edition ones weren't popping up very often. So, And I do have to thank a friend of mine. Let's put this away here real quick. This is the Autocrat again. Fantastic little knife. But I have to I have to thank the the sole purpose of addiction to this knife from uh, my good friend Chad there. <laughs> so it's a slip joint from Surge Knife Company. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so thanks. But yeah, once one I mean he was so kind as you guys saw to let me basically uh, try his out right after he put it in his pocket that I was like, man, I got to get one of these. So this is a, a standard edition one. And the packaging's great. And this is one of the G10 versions. Um, it's used, but you can't really tell. Oh, there you go, Redeem Creations. It's a slip joint. Look at that, it's just beautiful. I mean, it's a slip joint with a pocket clip. I love the wash that he puts on everything. This is an M390. It's number 41. It's a it's a great little knife, you know? I mean, you got your detent. We talked about that before. <laughs> Big Red talked about it quite a bit. Yeah, definitely. Trevister, yeah, for sure. What's up, OSK? But this is one of those cool ones where he gave me a really good deal on this, so I just have to say thank you so much to Redeem Creations. Um, if you want to get some cool leather stuff, check it out for sure. But you can see even the, the spring bars all stone washed or kind of that black acid washed. So pretty cool overall. It's got the nail nick on it. It's got a pretty decent, you know, I would say pull wise, probably like five. Five or six, maybe. Oh, Therapeutic Edge. Got to run. Do something kind for someone. All right, sounds good, buddy. Maybe we'll see you tonight. I hear there might be a live stream on your channel tonight, like 7.30-ish Pacific. So, yeah. Yeah, and that and that's my thing. Like, I, you know, when I saw these originally, I was like, meh, you know, it's okay. Um, but you know, Chad was super nice and put a titanium one, you know, in my hand and I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Redeem Creations has amazing leather goods made here in the U S I think he's in Washington state of Washington. If I remember correctly, let me look. I think that's where he's from. Yeah. He's in Washington, the state of Washington. So super close. Yeah, it could be definitely a fifth pocket knife. Um, you can, you know, he includes the tools, Surge does. Includes the tools so you can take the pocket clip off, um, throw it in there, any of that good stuff. But I like this. So I had to jump on it because he put it up on his, on his Instagram and said, hey, I'm selling this one. And I think he had two others. And I'm like, man, I really like that one. Yeah, it's got some talk to it. Got a little bit of walk and talk. What's up, Nice Fast? Welcome, welcome. So anyways, the details are cool. You know, logos, all that good stuff. Very subtle. It was funny because if you did you guys see the, the recent knife banter uh, at Blade HQ with, uh, I think it was Jamie and Kurt? And at the very end, they showed a knife from SOG. I think it's what we're supposed to call it now. Oh, Rodney, you got a sweet wallet and a tray from them? Oh, you won it. Oh, yeah, they have some great stuff. So I'm going to put this away. Safety first. We're going to close this up. Now we got our cap lifter, pry bar, screw uh, driver right there. But, yeah, it's a fantastic knife. What's up, David Iverson? Welcome. 
Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it reminds you of that. But yeah, the SOG, it was funny because they, they showed one on there. And what's up, Nate Falgo? Hey, 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 how are you, Michelle? It's one of those that they were like, what's up, I love knives? How's it going? And they were like, oh my gosh, what do we do? Blah, 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 you know? And they showed that knife at the end, and it was like one that's not supposed to be shown yet, not till next week, blah, blah, blah. But did you see the billboarding on the side of the knife? They had like three or four lines of text because they spelled out the whole like SOG, you know, meaning behind it. They spelled out the name of the knife and they spelled out. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So <laughs> it was just, it was just like, it was a lot going on on that knife. And I'm like, I'm like, man, you know, do they have to pull out the, you know, the full detail. I mean, I guess if that's what they're trying to go with, you know, for SOG and they're trying to spell it out now. Great. You know, but anyways, I like the just real minimal look to this. So thanks again, Redeem Creations. It's always, it's always fun to pick something up, even use at a really great price. Um, so it's pretty cool. Maybe we'll put it like this since the clip doesn't work as a balancing act too well on the camera, but I don't know though. You know what I mean? I mean, that's pretty subtle in my comparison compared to what they put on that knife, but that's just me, KJ. That is just me. Oh, that's what Sog's infamous for? Okay. Yeah, the Tengu has a chisel. Yeah, for sure. You know, and that's and that's different than the, I mean, that's the Tengu tool. Um, oh, the Shaman got the Z-Wear. Oh, this is the actual Tengu on it with the different grinds. The Tengu flipper. And that's a whole lot of billboarding. That's what I'm talking about. It was like, I mean, that's the first production stuff that they went away from. And now they just label it first production. But that's a lot of billboarding too, you know? So, <laughs> studies and operations group. <laughs> I, you know what? To each his own, man. That's, you know, that's what they've decided to do. And, you know, but I don't know. It just, it, you know, when you look at that, you're like, whoa, just like that Tengu tool. It's like, man, I love first production, but I get it, you know, but I think uh, Benchmade fans, you guys can weigh in on this too, but I still love to see a Benchmade that's, you know, marked and says, you know, first production, you know, 41 of 500. But that's just me. Instead of just first production. Like the, where's the mini? Did I already put the mini away? Oh, the mini's over here. Shout out to Southern Edge Knife Works. I bought this one from them. But, you know, it just has first production on there. So, and this is the mini uh, bug out. The 533BK-2, I think. Um... I think that's what it is. But I like that. Just the first production. I mean, it'd be cool if they still had the numbers, but that's just me. Claim Disputed says, I like the billboarding. Well, there you go. Then that the, those knives are right up your alley then. That's perfect. Oh, Chad. Chad doesn't like anything on the blade. Uh, Lawn Ranger said, what's the deal on Benchmade's pre-production stamps? Um, I don't think they're doing pre-productions anymore. They're doing like the, uh, they used to do the pre-productions a while back, but I think they stopped that like 10 years ago or so. And I think now they're just doing the prototypes. So they'll send prototypes out to like their, uh, Benchmade reps who will, who will walk them around to the dealers and show them what's coming. They'll send them out to some of the influencers. They'll send them out to some of the, the media places. Um, yes, I definitely like the Benchmade antenna on the butterfly. And you'll see that on a video coming up this week. So I have a knife with a, a, a regular butterfly from back in the day. Yeah, no pre-productions anymore. Just prototypes and first productions. Um, but yeah. 
Yeah, exactly, KJ. I, I think that's the thing is a lot of people, you know, I, I, I like the fact when they did the 940s, the limited editions earlier in 2020, where it's like, hey, you could, buy, you know, you could buy two of them. And it was like, you would get, you know, you could get number 100 and num number 101. Um, <laughs> no pre-productions, only soul. <laughs> Yeah, the inside of the liners of the scales. Yeah, that looks pretty sick. I honestly like... Um, where is it on this one? I like what ZT did, what Zero Tolerance did right there. And put that on the on the spine of the blade. I like that. You know, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are, but it keeps the blade clean. They have a lot of billboarding over here. You know, they still have the serial number on it. This is 65, I think, or 85, whatever it says. But, yeah, I like it on the spine, too. That's a cool little deal they're coming up with. The Danger Pickle where the number is on the inside of the liner. But easy to read. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so it's, it's different stuff that different people are trying and making, and, you know, it really helps, like, if companies like listen to people, like if, you know, Benchmade was like, Hey, we heard that people wanted the numbers back on the first productions or limited editions. Oh, thanks, Rennie. Let's give a little shout out to Rennie, man. Thanks for the love. Appreciate that. Give a little shout out to Rennie there. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, Ray Laconico does the same thing on the spine. I like some of that, you know, it's an extra detail that they got to do when they go to uh, the finishing of it. But, I mean, how cool is that, right? Oh, it cut out the message? Well, that's no fun. That's no fun at all. Protech, yeah, exactly. Well, that's no fun. I didn't have the message. You'll have to type the message in again. You don't have to donate again if you don't want, but you can type the message in again. Mmm, bacon. You're making me hungry for bacon, man. I don't think we have any either. We had to dump everything. We had to dump everything in our fridge um, and some of the stuff out of our freezer because we had all of our uh, all of our food go bad when we were when we were without power. So we were able to do just like a basic grocery run this week, and we'll we'll buy some more of this next week. But it's kind of funny. Yeah, we should do that. Bring back the antennas. So that's one thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a list right here because I'm going to, I have to go, I don't need to go have a meeting with Benchmade. Yeah. Well, the problem was with that, I had to work and I mean, I was working like 14, 15 hour days. I didn't have a lot of chance to come and bag all my stuff and take it out of the fridge. So that's why I lost some of that stuff. So, so yeah, so let me get a pen out. We're gonna need a pen anyways here shortly, but so antennas. Well, let's do a night or let's do a pen that works. <laughs> Get my trusty uh, Zebra Seven Hundred One pen out. Um, so bring back the antennas on the butterfly. We want the numbers on. First pros and limited. And now they still do them on the gold class. So that's kind of cool. They still do them on the gold class, which I should be getting my gold class. I made a deal just so you guys know. Uh, I made a deal on some knives for a gold class Tengu flipper. So I should be getting a, a, a gold class Tengu flipper soon, but I, I wheeled and dealed on it. What's up, Marlita? What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, the problem was the snow didn't last long. And so all we had was ice, and I only have one cooler. And so it was just one of those where it was like, it sucked. But it was, it was worth it. It gave an opportunity to clean the fridge out and uh, make it all good again. What's up, Scott? How you doing? What's up, Nathan? How are you? And last but not least, 
940 in the custom shop. Those are my three wishes right now. So those are my three. I got my list right here. So I'm going to keep that with me. Recess screws on the pocket clips. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That should be a simple like, it should be a simple thing to do, but you would think they could just, you know, mill out mill out a little section for the clip or mill out the stuff and be like, whoop, whoop. but it's just a, a little process. And if they did it, you would think if they did it on one, they could do it across the board. Yes. The mini super freak. I know there's stuff like that on the way, you know, there's other knives coming on the way, but it's one of those, like it's on the way. A decent thirty dollar access. <laughs> I'm I'm still a fan of bringing back the red class, but I'd like to see the red class made here. Oh man, Rennie, the chair is awesome. Uh, been here an hour, over an hour. The chair is awesome. That's probably why I haven't done the giveaway yet. Oh really? A little retooling would be too costly. Hmm. Mini 535-3. Yeah, you know, you're going to see some different stuff come up, I'm sure. Restock on deep carry clips. What are they out, Napster Ninja? I haven't heard that they've been out yet. What's up, Winchester? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Welcome, welcome. Winchester's in the house. So is John West. What's up, John? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew jumping on. Thank you, thank you. been asking for the red class for a long time i hope they do it you know i've i've seen something i don't know if you guys have but i've seen some of the bug outs like the standard bug outs like these go into like clamshell packaging so i don't know if those are going for like to cabela's and places like that but i've seen that oh clips have been out over a month that's weird you want to lynch all access pass and they're out of stock everywhere i saw somebody posted was it our friend? Was is our Spider Co friend? He posted that there was a company in Canada selling a bunch, but they're shipping out of Canada. Eh. Um. Well, that's weird. Now I'll have to check on that that deep carry clip situation too. You saw a mini freaking clamshell on eBay. Yeah. So those clamshells, I thought when I first saw one, I was like. It was like a, I think it was like a mini freak or something, a standard one. And I was like, what? Bring back the meat crafter. They just, oh, the, the original meat crafter, not the orange handled one. They just brought back, or they just launched the orange one. So that'll be good. Different color lock bars. <laughs> well, and that's my thing. Like, I know that they have a stickiness problem. But, you know, if you're going to go like blacked out on this one, I think like a black access bar would be sweet. Um, oh, the military BXs use the plastic packs too. Okay. That's probably, that probably makes sense because they're probably not going to keep boxes. Damn a steel 940 custom. Oh man, I'd be all over that. That's my 940 man right there. There you go. He's supporting. You know what's up. But yeah, I mean, if you look at the difference, I think I showed this before, but the difference on if you have black liners, you really see those liners inside the jade. So I think they want to keep the jade kind of clean looking. So that's probably why they didn't do it on this one. But could at least put the black access bar on there. You know what I'm saying? Match the hardware. Oh, you got it the BX? Yeah. Exactly, Todd. Canada, eh? What's up, Susan? Welcome, welcome. Emerson, how are you? Okay, yeah. So the Mini Adamas is the next one that Benchmade is coming out with. I think they're just launching the burnt, the black one. I don't know if they're doing the tan and green one at the same time. But you'll see my review. Hopefully, I can get approval to post my review this week. It's already up. I'm going to do a live premiere so we can chat about it. Um, <laughs> Planes Crafter, what's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Okay. <laughs> Your freak came in clamshell from Blade HQ. Really? From Blade HQ, that is so wild. Oh, man. I don't know. That, to me... Mr. McKenzie, what's up, buddy? 
How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Same as Plains Crafter and Shane Gables. And Grateful Panic. Um, oh, really? I love, I dude, I love singing national anthems like ours in the U.S. and uh, the one for Canada. I always hear it because of the hockey games. Love watching hockey. So, hockey's cool. Football, hockey, baseball, basketball. You know, go Trailblazers. They've been doing great, except for last night, but... You know, can't win them all, right? Uh, let's see here. Bring Chad says, bring back the Model 68. It was the first knife Les made. My dad knew less. I had one of the very first ones. Oh, man, the Model 68 would be awesome. Oh, man. That would be cool to bring back the 68. I heard rumors floating around last year. And I'm like, oh, man, that would be sweet. Um, so I don't know if those rumors are being acted on or not. You know, and I also know that they were working on like a tribute knife for less. And I really hope that comes out soon. Um, and it would be fitting if it was like two of his favorites. And it would be cool if it was like a 68 and something else. Um, I know he really loved the proper. I know he also really loved the bug out after it came out. Um, but some of the originals would be sweet. Uh, 940 man says favorite 940. See, I get that. I struggle. The, my favorite current one probably that I carry the most has to be the blue G10. Um, the one that came out as a dealer incentive limited edition this year. Oh yeah, knife in the middle. This is a, a Surge Knife Co. Surge Knife Company slip joint. Uh, Warren Cliff blade, black G10, M390 on the blade steel. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the BK of the 2002. Yep, exactly. 940 BK 2002. What what about you, 940 man? What's your favorite? What's up, David Payne? Welcome, welcome. All right. Oh, I just got tagged in an Instagram story by the Lawn Ranger. I'm guessing that he he just tagged me in some what he's making today. Yeah, a 68 tire would be nice. Oh, the 940-1701, that's a sweet one. I like that one. I like that one. You just got the 940 tie? Oh, yeah. Oh, the 2003 era one. Oh, sweet. That's awesome, Claim Disputed. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Best place to get a SOCP? Uh, you could try... You could try any of the knife dealers, but I know for a fact that GovX had some, but they go pretty quick. They make the mini now, too. Um, Hallucinus says, my favorite is the M4 blade. 940 DLC 1802 along with the black access bar. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Michael Morgan says, if you combine the USA can Canada anthems, would it be like run DMC Aerosmith? <laughs> I think so. That's, that's going to happen totally. Um, let's see here. Okay. Let me grab, I need to grab something cause I wasn't able to grab what I wanted to do for a giveaway. But let's put a couple things away. We've seen those. We know that obviously the seat is very comfortable. So thank you guys for checking in on me on that. Thank you again, Southern Edge Knife Works. This thing is smoking awesome. The DSKFS and Zach Stuff logo on here. Woo! Love that. Put that one up. Use that this afternoon. So let's clear off the table a little bit. Let's get a couple things out there. We're definitely going to do some swag from Southern Edge Knife Works. We're definitely going to do a Zach Stuff patch. PVC with Velcro on the back. Hope to see my other patches this week. You'll, of course, get some Zach Stuff swag. You're going to also get one of the cool custom holographic DSKFS stickers. Do something kind for someone. That's awesome. Let's see what else we had here. I had something special set aside for today, especially since we're just kicking off this party here. So give me just one second here. 
get this pulled up. Had some stuff burying it, that's the problem. All right, here. There we go. Be like, where's Zach at? Oh, he's sitting in his new chair. <laughs> Roll it out to the living room. 940 was introduced in 2000. So that was the first year. Now we're going to give away something that's pretty cool today. We've got 141 people on here right now. That's pretty sweet for a Sunday live. So 2020 was the, the 20 year anniversary. Uh, you'll also see this week a 940, my 940 collection update. Uh, it's been about two years or so since I've done one. So I want to do an update, especially with all the cool ones we got this year. But, oh, there you go. A little Benchmade SOCP link. Thanks, Big Red. Um, we'll also throw in some uh, stuff here. We got some swag from our buddy, our pal, Big Red EDC. So we'll throw that in there. We'll find some other stuff to throw in probably too. But the cool part is I got one of these from our buddy, Rodney. I think it was from Rodney. I think this one was from Rodney. The i3 EOS LED keychain flashlight. It's awesome. So we're going to put that one in there as well. Yeah, you can't go wrong with some Bay Red swag. So that one's going to be in there. What's up, Richard? How's it going? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Now, we're also... What's up, Top Dog? Yeah, we're also going to do something that that is just... This is what I had planned, you guys. This is me saying thank you to you guys. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the support. Thanks for checking in on me when, when the weather was bad. I didn't have internet or power or cell phone even. I couldn't even chat with you guys, you know what I mean? So it was rough. What's up, Shoe Monster? Tim Stapleton's here. What's up, buddy? But we're going to do something that comes in one of these. And it comes in a blue box. Benchmade. So we're going to give something away on here. Should we leave it in the black bag until somebody guesses? Or, I mean, somebody gets the right number? Should we do that? Let's do that. Let's, let's do a little, little secret. Let's just put it in here. So you're going to get whatever's in this black bag. You're going to get this light and a swag pack. And my neighbor's rocking his music out in his truck, so I apologize if you hear any of that in the background. Poncho 151's here. What's up, buddy? Dustin Kelly. Something sharp in the bag. Jonathan's here. So OSK is here. Yeah, so we'll do that. So we got a knife in here. I'll tell you it is a knife. So you got to be 18 years old to enter. This is something that'll have to be shipped in the U.S. Or if you're overseas, give me a U.S. address so I can ship to. Your friends go from there and hook you up with it. My screen is going to be the final decision. I'm going to use my moderators to help out um, if there's any sort of uh, controversy. But we're going to do, we're going to guess a number. So don't guess yet. We're going to do... One number guess, you only guess once, and it's closest without going over. And it's going to be a bench made Burton. <laughs> I think so, KJ, I think so. Uh, it'll be basically, we're going to be guessing closest without going over. And this will be Zach War Oakley's. <laughs> Let's see here. We will do between 11 and 200 as the guess. Now I'll pull this back so we don't show it on there. Snoopy 1X is here. What's up, Snoopy? And we will go with... You're new here? Well, welcome. I appreciate you being here. We will go with... I'm excited to do this giveaway for you guys, you know? It's one of those, like, 
try to give back a little bit. The spread is going to be between 11 and 200. And we won't guess yet anything crazy. So hold your guesses. Don't guess yet. What will happen is, is once I fold this paper up and put it underneath the box there on the screen, then you'll see a start from Big Red. And that'll be one of the ones that we will then take one guess from each person. Fold it up here. Closest without going over, the spread is between 11 and 200. We'll put this under the box right here. And when you see a start from Big Red, you will go ahead and guess once. And whoever guesses the closest or guesses the number itself, then we will go ahead and have a giveaway. And that's just one of those things, you guys. I wanted to give something back. I normally try to do a knife that's, you know, more budget friendly. But I was like, you know what? We're kicking this one off. Let's do, let's do one of these where we give back to you guys because you guys are giving back already. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you much, so much for your support. Thank you for the Super Chat donations today. That'll be awesome. It'll be helpful to get pay for some shipping as well as it'll help us with our uh, project for Ethan so we can do something special for him on his favorite knife. And we'll have to get some bacon today, it looks like. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so it'll be it'll be fun, you guys. Uh it'll be great. Yep, the Navy bug out for sure. Mr. G and VT, yeah, it's a little too high, buddy. The spread is uh, the guess is between 11 and 200 and one number, one guess only. So yeah, so it's pretty fun. It's pretty good. I'm trying to put together a, a giveaway for next week that's more EDC related. And I think it'll be a fun one. Uh, I think you guys will like it. So it'll be open to more international as well. More international shipping friendly. So it'll be fun though. I got to do a little bit of shopping this week for it. So hopefully that makes sense. Dan Yellowman's here. Lucas Bacon. Oh, Northwoods Knife Guy. Thank you, buddy. Give a little shout out, a little love for Northwoods Knife Guy. Thank you so much. That's very kind. Yeah, it was fun today. It's fun to look at a few things. I appreciate Redeem Creations. I really appreciate Southern Edge Knife Works sending me that tumbler. That is so awesome. I'm going to wash that up. I'm going to use it today. I'm also going to take it to work with me tomorrow. People are going to love it. So... Oh, yeah. I usually try to stream um, noon Pacific on Sundays. I did a special one. I think it was, was that, was that Thursday night? I think it was Thursday night. I did a special one because I just got my internet and power back. And I was like, let's get back into it. And I did a giveaway. It was fun. I gave away the uh, Gerber Sajulo. So we had an awesome winner of that. Um, so he's going to enjoy that this coming week. So. Krista's here too. What's up, Krista? All right. So we'll put another minute or so on there so everybody gets their guess in. So eggs and ham is thinking something small that's in the bag. Hmm. Yeah, you're welcome, Z Man. Congratulations, man. That was awesome. Okay, we'll give it a little bit of more time here. I just want to make sure everybody's caught up and gets their guess in. I'm going to go back through and see if we have anybody that's close. I see some good guesses in there. Some really good guesses. I haven't seen anybody guess it right on the money. Or is there one? I don't know. We'll have to see. We, You know what, you guys? Oh, snap. You know what I just saw? We may even have... Yeah, one guess only, please. We may even have a... Uh, Around two, from what I'm seeing. <laughs> to open down number three. No, it's a, it's it's gonna be Benchmade. I wouldn't I wouldn't trick you guys that bad. I wouldn't be like putting the open down in a Benchmade bag. That'd be that'd be kind of like not right, right? 
<laughs> Mr. McKenzie. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely check them out. Definitely. Yeah, there might be a round two. So I think we got everybody's guess in. Looks like Jack just got his in. Um, <laughs> it's a Tengu tool unboxing knife. <laughs> hey, you know what? Those are pretty spendy, too. Those are pretty spendy. Yeah, it's not just the pouch. Scott got his in. Hollywood Tactical just got his in. Hopefully everybody's just got the one guess. I don't want to cut it off if we haven't got everybody's guessing yet. I know there's about there's still about 140 people on, so thank you guys so much. Gonzo <laughs> in a Benjamin bag. Oh, I I don't know if I would ever hear the end of that if I did that. <laughs> people would be pretty uh frustrated. Right? Yeah, definitely. Nate Fuego's got the guess in, right on. Okay, we'll give it like 30 seconds and then we'll throw up some stop signs. Bunzo, get a guess in. One number between 11 and 200. Guess a number, one number, one guess only between 11 and 200, Bunzo. There you go. Bunzo's got a guess in. Okay, well, thanks, Rennie. You're you're generous as well, but I just, I want to give back. I want to kick this off. Um, we're having fun today. <laughs> uh oh hollywood's got hollywood's got a little theory behind a guess here snoop dog from long beach it's 187 on the under <laughs> movie deep cover about an undercover cop oh there you go there's that's one theory taz's world got his guess in okay i think we've wrapped up everybody what do you think big red yeah don't forget to hit the like button Let's see if we can get over 100 likes on here That'd be great. Team 2K has got their guess in. Team Me 2K. There are the stop signs. So we won't be able to take any guesses after the stop sign or before the start. But let's go back and look. And let me show you what I got. And I think I saw a couple people guessed on this. Yes, Big Red is generous as well. But we have... Sorry, I use a sticky note. It sticks together. 77. So, I think I saw two people that had the guess right. So, you guys can go back and look with me. But I think I, I saw Rodney had a 76. And I was like, oh, man, that's so close. And then I saw... Drop. Stop. Open up shop. Um, I saw two people with a 77. Hey, you're welcome, Mark. <laughs> Russ, only off by 110. Hey, that's pretty close. Yeah, I saw Rodney's when I scrolled back through. And I was like, oh, he's really close. And then I saw red Astrakhan. So we have red Astrakhan and... Who was the other one here? Somebody else had a 77 as well. I love knives. Okay. Let's see. Was there anybody else? Nick Martino had a 71. So those are the two that I saw. What do you think, Big Red? Did I miss any in there? Okay, you got you saw the same thing? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Chad, upside down it would be. Okay, so we're going to have a round two, which will only be care. Oh, Blue EDC's out? Blue EDC, thank you again so much for letting me check out this Gerber. This is an awesome, awesome knife so far. And if it's that budget friendly, dang, that's amazing, buddy. So thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for sending that over so I can check it out. Okay, so, all right. So we're going to have a round two between Red Astrakhan and I Love Knives. So you guys are going to be closest. It doesn't matter if you're over or under. It's the closest one. And Northwoods is out too. All right, Northwoods. See you later, buddy. Thank you guys both for your support. 
Thanks for being members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. The the monthly support is super helpful to keep this rolling. So, um, and then we'll find out what's in here as soon as we get there. So round two is going to be between 30 and 40. So only a guess for, one guess only from Red, Astrakhan, and Isle of Knives. And let me put my guess in there, or my guess. Let me put my number in there uh, before you guys guess. And it'll be closest, period. So one guess between 30 and 40. One guess from Isle of Knives. One guess from Red Astacan. Isle of Knives put 36. Okay. Oh, Form D Productions. Thanks, man. Thank you so much, Form D. Let's give a little shout out to Form D Productions. Thank you so much. Hollywood Tactical says 3.14. <laughs> oh, the first correct number was 77. And Red, Red Ashtakan says 32. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have a guess of 30, where to go? 36? I think it was 36. Let me scroll back here. Hold on. Did I get that right? Where did it go? I Love Knives retracted his number. Okay. 36. Thanks, Donkey Dave. Okay. Oh, not GG. Number one fan right here. What's up, not DG? Thanks for your support, buddy. Appreciate the, the super chat. Thank you so much. That is super, super helpful for these. Um, let's see. 36 and 32. Okay. So I Love Knives was 36 and Red Ash Cannon was 32. Okay. I just want to make sure we got that so I didn't... Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so what it was the number that I chose... I chose 37. So congratulations, I Love Knives. You are the winner. Red Astrakhan, would you do me a favor and send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. I want to send you out some swag for coming in second. Um, but I Love Knives, you are the winner. And you will receive what is in the bag. So let's check it out and see what's in the bag. You get to win or have one the Benchmade Mini Bug Out in orange. Orange, orange, orange. S30V Benchmade Mini Bug Out. New in the box. Here's the box. So sweet win. And you get, of course, all the swag. And the Olight, the keychain Olight, that is terrific. So yeah, so very, very cool. I love doing the live giveaways, as you guys know. It's so much fun, especially because you guys are here. You're here supporting. I love giving back when you guys are here. So what else do we have? Any questions before we wrap this up? Again, huge shout out to Big Red EDC. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, please do so. Thank you. A huge shout out to all of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Your guys' support is amazing. Don't forget Southern Edge Knife Works. 15% off. Zach15 is your code. I'll link it down in the description below once this posts. Oh, your wife picked the first number? Well, you're going to have to share it with her then, huh? <laughs> Z-Man ZDC, thank you so much. Enjoy your knife. It'll be there this week. That is terrific. Big Red rocks. Totally, totally. Well, thanks, Rennie. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Thanks, Grateful Panic. See you guys next week for sure. OSK, Nifuago, Tim Shanks, KJ Pearson, John West, CK, I love knives. Uh, email or Instagram is totally fine. Either one. 
Phone's dying, Randy. Oh, no, Jason's phone's dying. All right, see you guys later. All right, everybody's jumping off. Enjoy your Sunday. Thanks, Didier. Thanks, Penny. Thanks, Richard and Krista. Krista. Michael Morgan. David Iverson. I Love Knives. Monster Racing. Evil E. Russ. Kegel. Paper Tiger. Chad. Lisa. Chad Dixon. Winchester. Uncle Cal. David. Form D Productions. Thank you guys all. Thanks, Claim Disputed. See you guys next week. Look forward to some really cool releases this week. Taz's World, Lawn Ranger. Oh, man, you did. You take me in some food. I'll have to check that out. Thanks again, Big Red, for being an awesome, awesome person and all your support, all the links. He's like the Link Master. Link Master Red, I appreciate it, man. Nathan, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Rodney, thank you again for all your support and for the donations. Poncho151, have fun. Have a great weekend. John Evans, you too. Ethan, take care. We'll start working on your project. You know what I'm saying. John, Rennie, Nebu Cloud, not DG. All right, you guys. Have an awesome Sunday. Make sure to do something kind for someone. Make sure to check out. If you haven't seen, I have a review on this knife up on the channel as well. Also, the Benchmade Autocrat, Nick Martino. Beefer, thank you guys so much. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Michael. All right, you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. But most importantly, you guys take care. And eat bacon. <laughs>